the majority of menopausal women that are meal prepping do it for three reasons. Number one is our nutritional health. It is so important in this stage of life of 40 plus that we are nourishing our bodies with amazing foods. Just six months ago, I was not doing this. I ate a pretty decent diet, but I had put on 15 pounds. With the Galveston diet, I have been able to take off 10 and I have five more to go. The first 10 came off in that first four months and I'm struggling a little bit to get the next five off. I'm still perimenopausal, so when I'm missing periods and things are going up and down, I'll gain two, lose two, gain two, lose three. And so I'm struggling with that last five pounds, but I am giving myself grace and that's what you need to do too in this important part of our life. Number two reason that women meal prep at this stage is because we are trying to save time. It's overwhelming. If, if you're doing the Galveston diet way, then you're, you're, you're trying to revamp your whole lifestyle of eating. And I tell you, it is so good for you to be doing that. And number three is some of us need to save money. Going out to eat not only is bad for you a lot of the time, but it's very costly. Planning our meals, whether for the whole week or daily, can be really a lot of stress for people. And that's where I come in. I have been doing the Galveston diet way for six months and I'm really getting good at it now. That first month, it was shocking. You know, you are counting your macros, you are eating more protein, you are eating good healthy fats in high amounts, and you are lowering your carbs and you are only eating vegetables, fruit, grains, beans, legumes. You are trying to stay away from all those bad processed carbs. I have found a super easy way for you to break your fast because that's one of the things we do on Galveston diet is that we intermittent fast. Our bodies get filled with inflammation in this process of menopause and intermittent fasting is a great anti-inflammatory tool that we can use as well as certain foods that are anti-inflammatory. If we fast between 14 and 16 hours a day, that helps our body combat the inflammation process that is triggered with all the influx of our hormones and you know whether we have too much, too little, it's hard for our bodies, but this is completely natural. It is part of the process of being a woman. So let me share with you my easy meal prep for the first meal of the day. This is an awesome container. The key to good meal prep is you still have to plan. You know, the problem is people don't like to plan their food. And when you don't plan, that is when you get into trouble and you go through the drive throughs or the gas station or you're eating frozen food every night. And you know, it isn't good for you to just be eating that much food that is not prepared by yourself because it's full of a lot of things you don't know about. So I've come up with a nice little handy, like I guess formula for you to fill this for the week. Number one, you are going to pick one to two vegetables that you are gonna eat every day that you take this. And this is gonna be like for your lunches. I guess it could be for your breakfast too, doesn't matter. So what are you gonna take? Are you gonna take some carrots? Or do you buy the baby carrots that are already done for you? Or are you a, you know, a purist and have to peel and chop? That's up to you. Um, but get your carrots. If you're going to do cucumbers, get those sliced up and put in the fridge. Um, and if you want to with your cucumbers, you can put some like olive oil and salt and pepper and chopped parsley on them. That would be tasty, but they're going to start to, um, I guess macerate is kind of what they're gonna do. Another yummy one, broccoli. Broccoli is great, chop it up, 
put in a Ziploc with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. That will not macerate on you. It turns a beautiful, beautiful green, and the salt tenderizes the broccoli so it, to eat raw. I love that kind of broccoli. So your, your two vegetables for the week, done. Then you're gonna pick your berry. You gotta get your berries in. You should be eating one serving of berries, one half cup serving of berries a day. So what berries are you eating? Um, you know, it, it matters what you can afford too because some berries are just notoriously more expensive. You have four spaces. So berries and your veg right there. Now, what are we gonna do with the other spaces? Well, you know we gotta eat our protein. What protein should we pick? Just the winner is chicken. And you know, I know we're supposed to be eating the cleanest, best, finest chicken we can get. Rotisseries are great, but again, they're gonna have some things in it you don't know about, some chemicals and that, unless you go to the health food stores and get your rotisserie chicken there. How do you cook it? Well, you know what? We don't always have to eat restaurant quality food. Why don't you just put salt, pepper, garlic powder, or get a seasoned blend of spices, put that on it and bake it. This is lunch. We are not trying to make beautiful masterpieces. We are fueling our body, and this is a great way to do it. Now, once you put it in its spot, however many ounces you need for the day, for this meal, you can drizzle it with some olive oil, yummy. You can also drizzle it with olive oil and then put some salt and pepper, or if you have a seasoning blend, whatever, but that would be super tasty to do. Your last box. Now, I have been known to split this box in two. I have um, silicone cupcake holders, so I'll put the silicone cupcake holder here, and like we'll put some hummus in it and um, a few crackers. And, you know, because I do get some carbs, right? And the hummus and the crackers would be great, healthy carbs. I could use my flaxseed crackers that I make and dip it in a little hummus. Yummy. Another option would be some tuna fish. Make up a batch of tuna fish on Sunday or egg salad or chicken salad and eat that through the week. Or you can make some deviled eggs to put in here. Perfect. And nuts would be good in here too. And cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is another great thing to put in there. Drizzle some olive oil and salt and pepper and cube some um, avocado. Amazing. There are options. Just buying one of these, your new Lunchable, is gonna help you so much. So what is most important is that you have your list together. Lunch does not have to be a chore. It does not have to be expensive. And it does not need to take tons of time and planning and all this meal prep that is a little overwhelming sometimes. With a little cooking of your meat and just planning at the grocery store what veg you're gonna have for your lunches will help so much. With these, you really don't make much. You just are assembling. You're making a protein, maybe a green. You know, that's it. You're just assembling and filling this. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Ah, oh, shoot. My bra is showing. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Subscribe below. Give me a thumbs up. I would love to hear from you on your menopause journey and where you're at. Have a great day.